Hello and welcome to the workshop. On today's episode, I'll be making a micarta sphere using this craft paper. So my plan for this one is to take about 30 sheets of paper, coat each one in epoxy resin, and then stack them on top of each other. And then I'm gonna roll it into a cylinder, wrap it in this silicon mat, and then wait for it to set. Now I plan on making five of these cylinders, so I need to find myself a helper and then get started. That process definitely took longer than I expected. That was about 25 minutes. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is roll this thing up like a sushi roll. Number one is complete, and I gotta say, that was a lot harder than I expected it to be. The wine's not too bad, it looks nice and tight. So now all we have to do is leave this to cure and make four more. So now that I have my five little burritos, I just need to leave them to cure, and then tomorrow, I can unwrap them. Looks like they're cured. Let's see if we can get them out of these silicon mats. Look at that. That worked perfect. Our nice little micarta sleeve. Okay, let's get the other ones out. That is just too easy. So my original plan was to take these cylinders, put them into a big container and pour some more resin. But after having a look at some of these, they look a bit rough around the edges. So I think what I might have to do is clean up the ends, put them on my lathe, turn them down a little bit just to get the roughness off, then I'll be able to cast them in the bigger container. Look at that, that looks awesome.
check out how good these cylinders look. It looks like wood grain, but I guess that's no surprise since it is paper. So now that I've got all the cylinders cleaned up, let me explain my next step. So when making a blank for a sphere, your height has to match your width. Now my width is 10 centimeters, which means my height has to be 10 centimeters. Now the length of these tubes are 20 centimeters, which means I can get two spheres out of these. Now my original plan was to cast these in clear resin, but since I'm now making two of them, I can do one with clear and one with black. And on the ones that I use in the clear, I'm gonna fill the inside here with colored resin, matching the same color as the paper. Now there is one other thing I'll be adding to the clear version, and that is these chips. These are all the bits that come off when I turn these down. Now before I start mixing some more resin, I need to cut these in half, and I'm gonna do that on my bandsaw. So you might have noticed that I only cut four of those. And the fifth one's still here. Now the reason for that is only four of these fit in my container. So let me know what you think I should do with this one. Now I'm going to pop this in the pressure pot to cure. While that's in the pot curing, I'm going to start filling these holes. While that clear blank is in the pot curing, I'm going to take the black one out and glue it to a waste block. That way it's ready for turning.
Well, that's about as far as I can go with the sphere jig. I think those colors are looking amazing. Now, the next thing I need to do is give this a sand. But before that, I have noticed a little crack down here. So I'm going to have to fix that first. So I'm going to mix up some five minute epoxy and fill that in. So now that I've finished up the black version, it's time to get working on the clear one. Now since you guys just spent the last five minutes watching me turn this one, I'll make this clear one go a bit faster. It's now time to take a look at these beauties and after you see them I want you to let me know which one's your favorite the black one or the clear one and in two weeks time I'm going to randomly pick two comments and send you each a dragon egg now I know you guys are probably going to want these so they're now available in my Etsy store now let's check them out Making these projects made me feel so happy and I hope you guys had heaps of fun watching. That's it for today's episode, I'll catch you next time.